Welcome back to another episode from My Backyard Friends. This is part three of the Ultimate Squirrel House build. As you could tell from the end of part two, it wasn't long before we had a visitor. And if you haven't checked out part two yet, I will leave a little notification up in the top right hand corner. And if you click that, there will be a link to the video. Now, like I said, we had our first visitor within the first two hours. It was awesome. And everything in the box worked correctly. The camera went off like it was supposed to and videoed the whole clip. So here it is. What a relief that everything worked, and what a relief to catch the first entry and exit. Did you see him catch a little piece there? Well, now watch him as he gets out and sits and eats. So now since you've seen the inside and everything and how it works, I'm going to give you a little critique on the Green Feathers camera and what I've noticed with the squirrels as well. The first thing I like is that it has the date and the time up in the right-hand corner, and then down in the bottom left hand corner you can also name the camera. This is useful because in the app for the Green Feathers camera you're able to have more than one camera. So say you have multiple squirrel boxes you can name each one, squirrel box one, etc. The time is obviously useful to keep track of when the squirrel is there or things like that. The next thing I really liked is that there's different levels of sensitivity for the motion detection and <laughs> It also is detected by noise. As you can tell in this clip, either a bird or a squirrel made a noise that turned the camera on, and then all you can hear is a loud cardinal, which maybe the cardinal even sent it off. I had the sensitivity on high the first day. I did this because I was really worried I was going to miss the first time a squirrel was in there, and I really wanted to get that clip, so I made it as high sensitive as possible. Well, it works, and so we had to move it down but it's nice that they have that option. One more thing about the camera before I talk more about the squirrels. I can't get over how clear this video is when I put it on my computer and was seeing it on my phone as well. And how about the sound? I mean, you can hear this guy chomping on this corn like crazy. It's awesome, it's a lot of fun. And lastly, how about this LED light? Look at how it lights up this whole box and it just makes the clarity look even that much better. So when we first set this up, we put in one corn cob just trying to attract the squirrels to come in, which as you can see wasn't a problem. We won't be putting in more because we don't want this to be a feeder. We want this to actually be a home where they make a home and we can watch that experience and hopefully maybe have babies and all that. But to start, we had them just going in there to eat the corn and get comfortable in there. The pattern became that it would show up in the morning sometime and stay for three or four minutes and eat, eat corn. They definitely weren't comfortable in there right away. They'd always be checking the door and such, but as it went on, you could tell that they were way more comfortable in there. It was kind of funny as well. It seemed that they pulled all the corn off and ate their favorite part and then went back and ate more of each little piece. One evening we were lucky enough to have a surprise visit and it ended up storming that night while he was in there and the LED light ended up turning off so the night vision got engaged and it was just fun to see that with him in there to see what it was like. And again, I was pretty impressed with the camera. For night vision, I thought that that was not bad. Overall, we're pretty happy with the build and how we have everything set up. 
we haven't had them looking at the wires or even trying to investigate except for this once, and this was probably about a month after being installed. Well, that's it for now. I just want to thank all of you for watching My Backyard Friends. And if you haven't checked out part one and part two, showing the camera and the squirrel house and then the installing of it into the tree, I encourage you to do so. Thank you.